Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on number sense and integers. Okay. The sum of three consecutive integers is 51. Find the integers. I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing these types of problems. That's why I have three of them on here. So one way to think of them is I have three integers. One, two, three. So consecutive integers are like four, five, six. And notice that consecutive integers are just numbers right in a row. So if I make my first number x, that would be my four. Five is just one greater than four. So x plus one, that would be my five. Remember, we're always starting at four. Six is two greater, so that would be x plus two. But it's equaling 51. So four, four plus one, four plus two, x, x plus one, x plus two. There are three x's plus three, equaling 51. Subtract the three off. Three x equals 48. Divide by 3. x is equal to 16. That's our x. x plus 1 is 17. x plus 2 is 18. And then check. It is really easy to know if you're correct. Is 16 plus 17 plus 18 really equal to 51? Yes. So that is our answer. Okay. The sum of three consecutive odd inches Odd integers is 51. Find the integers. So instead of lines, I'm going to do parentheses this one time. Odd integers. So that's like 1, 3, 5. Okay. So again, if my first integer is x, to get from 1 to 3, I'm adding 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. So that would be x plus 2 because that's how I get from 1 to 3. Well, again, I have to start at 1 to get to 5, so 1 to 5, I'm adding 4. So x plus 4 to get to 51. Again, there's three x's, three unknowns. 2 plus 4, so I'm adding 6. Subtract the 6. 3x is equal to 45. Divide by 3. x is equal to 15. 15 plus 2 is 17, 15 plus 4 is 19, and then I check, is 15 plus 17 plus 19 equal to 51? It is. There we go. The sum of three consecutive even integers is a negative 36. So that would be like negative 10, negative 8, and negative 6. Well, negative 10, that could be x. To get to negative 8, I'm adding 2. And to get to negative 6 from 10, I'm adding 4. Notice that the setups are the same. Because it doesn't matter if it's consecutive even or consecutive odd, you're still jumping every other number. And so the basic setup is going to be the same. What's going to be different is this negative 36. That's what's going to be different, what it adds up to. 3x plus 6, even that is exactly the same. Again, what's different is what my consecutive even or consecutive odd integers add up to. That's what's going to change my solution. Not the setup, but what they add up to. I subtract 6, I get that 3x is equal to negative 42. I divide. I get x is equal to negative 14. And then again, I add. And I add again. And then I test. And sure enough, negative 14, negative 26, negative 36. And I have my answers. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Learn something new. These 
These tend to be really tricky because it tends to be kind of an outfit bed suit for a lot of students, but I hope cleared some stuff up for you. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!